super speed jet. Ready to try a new toy, Squidgy? It's the fastest plane ever. Fastest ever? How's it work? Show me, show me. Okay, watch. It's flying! It's so incredible! Hmm. Something's not working. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Can I try? Sure, Squidgy. You take the plane and I'll hold the launcher. Now pull it back and... Oops. I wasn't ready. Oh, look, Squidgy. I wish we could fly a real jet. Jets are fast. Jets are super fast. Squidgy, prepare for super duper jet speed. <laughs> And I'm a test pilot. A test pilot? Whoa! <laughs> um, what does a test pilot test? I test new planes to see how fast they go. Well, it sure looked fast. Really fast! <gasps> nah. It still ain't fast enough. Justin, Squidgy, meet Wheezy Wilbur. Pleased to meet you. Pleased, Pleased to, to meet, meet you, you, Wheezy. Wheezy's the best test pilot in the whole wide world. Thanks, Olive. But with my own wing in a sling, I'm afraid I won't be able to go flying with you. Aw, today we were supposed to get the Speedy Eagle to super speed. <gasps> super super speed? speed? Yep, we need to prove the Speedy Eagle is the fastest plane on the planet. But that ain't possible with just one pilot. And I can't work the controls by myself. I guess we'll never hit super speed. We can fly with Olive. Test pilot Justin. And test pilot Squidgy. Reporting for duty. All right, team. Are we all set? Copy that. Uh, that means I understand in pilot talk. So, are we ready to fly? Not just yet. Can we fly now? Not yet. What about now? No. Now? That's a negative. OK, I'll wait. Now? Almost, Squidgy. First, you need to get familiar with all the controls. OK. I can see what's ahead of us, so I'll control the steering from up here. So what do I do? Justin, you're in the middle, so you control the speed with that big lever. I want to go fast! Then all you do is push it forward. Pull it back to go slow. Wow! Can we go super fast? And that's where you come in, Squidgy. You've got the most important job. I do? Pushing that big green button at just the right time. <laughs> Is this the right time? No, not yet. When the jet gets to full speed, all three green lights will blink. That's when you push it. Blasting us to super speed. Super speed! Oh, I can't wait! You'll know you reached it when you hear a loud boom! <laughs> <laughs> Copy, team. Copy that, Weezy. Good. Now let's get this bird in the air. Wheezy to Speedy Eagle. You are cleared for takeoff. Copy that, Wheezy. Justin, full throttle. Copy that. Woo! Now let's work together and try and reach super speed. Good luck. There's the test course. We need to fly through it as fast as we can. Copy, Copy that. that. It's go time. Okay, here comes Easy Breezy Ben. It's a pretty sharp turn, but I know we can make it. No blinky lights yet, Justin. Copy that, Squidgy. Going faster. <laughs> Justin, I got one blinky light! I just missed the turn. We 
were going too fast. All right, Speedy Eagle. Let's get back on course and head to Double Butte Twisty Loop. Copy that, Wheezy. Still only one blinky light. Copy that. We need to go fast. <gasps> Two blinky lights! Justin, it's too hard to steer. Okay, Olive, slowing down. Blinky, 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 blink. Okay, Speedy Eagle, you're back on course. You can go fast again, Justin. Copy that. One blinky light, <gasps> two blinky lights. Here comes the Big Ben brouhaha. <laughs> a loud boom. Did you hit super speed? No, Weezy. We just broke a balloon. Well, you're way off course again. You need to slow down. Copy that. Slowing down. Bye-bye, Blinky. Coming up on the sneaky Sidewinder. We're almost at the finish line. Can I press the button now? Not yet, Squiddy. We need three Blinky lights. Let's go faster! Three blinky light, three blinky light, three blinky light. Ah! What's that beeping? I didn't do it! Oh, Nibble Nuggets, we're running out of fuel. But we didn't even finish the course yet. And we didn't hit super speed. We'll just have to refuel and try again. Why don't you guys head on back to base? Copy that, Weezy. All right, team. We got just enough fuel for one more try. Don't worry, Wheezy. We'll get it this time. Remember that flying takes a bit of working together. Wheezy's right. We need to work together, like a team. I didn't know when to go fast or slow. And I had trouble keeping us on course. And I never got to push the blanky button. We need someone to tell us what to do, like a captain. Yeah, every good team needs a captain. How about Justin? What do you think, Olive? Sounds like a plan. You sit in the front and steer, Justin. And you sit in the middle to control the speed, Olive. And I'll push the big button. Okay, team. Let's do this. I can see what's ahead, Olive. I'll tell you exactly when to speed up or slow down. Copy that. Squidgy, you keep your eyes on the blinking lights. Copy that, Captain. Eyes on the blinky lights. All right, Speedy Eagle. You're good to go. Coming up on Easy Breezy Bend, Olive. A little slower, please. Copy that. Slowing down. Heading for the Double Butte Twisty Loop. Just follow the arrows. Copy that. seen such fine flying. Thanks, Feezy. We just had to figure out how to work together. I can't believe we hit super speed. I know. And my face went like this. <laughs> Justin. Oh, that's my dad. Got a jet. Bye, Bye Olive. See you, Weezy. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squiggy. So long, fellers. Let's 
try our toy again, Justin. Okay, Squizzy. But this time, let's work as a team. Copy that. Prepare for super duper jet speed. Turning on super duper jet speed engine now. We are cleared for takeoff. In three, two, two one. Super speed! Chili Chopper Rescue. Ready for our first rescue, Squidgy? I'm ready, rescue pilot Justin. Okay, hang in there, Mr. Mouse. Now let's get you back to solid ground. Great rescue, Justin. Phew! Rescuing is hard work. <gasps> <gasps> no! Momo Bear! Momo Bear! I can't reach him. Is Momo Bear stuck? Don't worry, Squidgy. I'll get him out of there. <gasps> Do you need help, Justin? It's okay, Squidgy. I've got it. I can rescue anyone, anytime, anywhere. Can you rescue a kitten from a tree? Who's better than me? A pretty bird in a little nest? I'm better than the best. A baby goat on the tallest hill. If no one can, you know I will. Wow. Do you like my rescue helicopter? Olive! Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Welcome to Northern Canada. Are you a rescue pilot, Olive? I am. Can you fly those helicopters? Yep. We don't have any roads or runways around here, so I fly a helicopter instead of a plane. I can't keep up with all the rescue calls by myself. I could really use some help. Well, Justin's the best rescue pilot around. I am. <gasps> That's an emergency call. Come on. Justin Olive and Squidgy's Air Rescue Service, we are ready to fly. We'll be right there, over and out. Kaya the husky pup is stranded on Mount Flattop. <sighs> I'm so busy today. If I go rescue that pup, I might miss another emergency call. Rescue pilot Justin reporting for duty. And rescue co-pilot Squidgy! Great! You two can do this rescue. I'll stay here and give you directions over the radio. Just let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Olive, but I won't need any help. I'm the best rescue pilot in the whole world! Can you hear me, Justin? Loud and clear, Olive. Great! Is your seatbelt buckled? Check. Engine on? Engine on. Then you are clear for takeoff. Uh, there's no room to take off, Justin. No problemo, Squidgy. With the helicopter, there's always room. That's right. Helicopters can fly straight up. Like this. Let's go find Kaya! Coming up on Mount Slaptop. Hang on, Kaya! We're coming to get you! Where do we land, Justin? No problemo. Going down. Kaya, safe and sound, Olive. Great. Now let's get her home. You bet. Up we go. Good girl. I'll make sure Kaya gets back to her owner. Nice rescue, you two. We want to go again. Yeah, rescuing is fun. We have another rescue mission. Lumberjack Bill forgot his lunch. That is an emergency. Nobody wants to see a hungry lumberjack. Luckily, I have a spare right here. Let's go, Squidgy. Good luck. And let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Olive. I'll be okay. To the rescue! Look, Squidgy. That smoke must be coming from the lumberjack's cabin. There's nowhere to land. That's right. You'll need to use the winch to lower the lunchbox to the lumberjack. Use the lunch to lower the winch box with the, uh... Oh, okay. Lunchbox in position, Olive. Going down. 
Why, thank you. You're welcome. Olive, the lunchbox is delivered. Great job, Justin and Squidgy. But I just got another call about a really big rescue. A baby seal is stuck on an ice floe drifting out to sea. Sounds like another job for rescue pilot Justin. This one is going to be tricky and dangerous. I've been making rescues all day. How hard can it be? Okay, but let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Ollie. We're coming, baby seal! Whoa, look at those huge pieces of ice. Those are ice floes. The seal is stuck on one of them. I'll keep an eye out for him. Hmm. <gasps> Justin, I think I see the seal pup. Going in for a closer look. We've come to rescue you, little pup. Do you have enough room to land, Justin? No problemo, Squidgy. You did it! Great landing, Justin. Thanks, Olive. I'm going to rescue the baby seal. Be careful. Ice flows can break up very easily. No worries, Olive. I've got this. Come on, little guy. It's okay. He's too scared. I guess I'll have to go get him. Careful where you stop, Justin. One wrong move and the ice can crack. No worries. I've got this. should have asked for help this time. What is that? Justin, are you okay? Olive, I am now that you're here. But Justin, I can't land. The ice floe is too small. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Justin. All I can do is winch. Wait, that's it. The winch! Olive, fly over and get Squidgy's winch line. Then bring it to me. Squidgy, you can tow my ice roll back to you. Great idea, Justin. We're coming to get you! Here comes Squidgy. Got it! Good to go, Olive. Take it to Justin. Okay, Justin, I'm on my way. Almost. Got it! Okay, Squidgy, pull us in! Pulling away! It's working! Yes! Time to go, little guy. Oh, you're welcome. But it was Justin who really saved you. No, Squidgy. I couldn't have done it without you and Olive. You're the best co-pilot in the whole world. Aw, Justin! Squidgy, I need you to pull back on that lever. This one? Okay. Okay, Olive, let's head back to base. Race you there. On your mark. Get set. Go! All right, little guy. You should be safe here. There's no ice flows around. Bye-bye, little seal. That was a tricky rescue, Justin. Sorry you had to rescue me, too. That's okay. It's what I do. Next time, I'll know when to ask for help. Justin! That's Mom. 
Time to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Justin. See you later, Squidgy. Rescuing Moo Moo Bear is going to be really hard. I'm going to need your help, Co-Pilot Squidgy. Co-Pilot Squidgy reporting for duty. Hold on. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Keep lowering. Lower. Yep, lower. Oh, you're safe with us, Moo Moo Bear. <laughs> Bring us up, Rescue Pilot Justin. Okay, Squidgy. Going up. You did it, Justin! You saved Moo Moo Bear! We did it, Squidgy. I couldn't have done it without you. What's that, Moo Moo Bear? Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> it's what we do. Cuckoo chaos! Boys, it's time for bed. Aw, already? Okay. Sleepovers are the best! What are we gonna play next, Justin? <sighs> Playtime will have to wait till tomorrow, Sammy. My dad said it's time to go to sleep now. I don't want to go to bed. I'm having so much fun! But it's bedtime already, Sammy. See? It's almost 8 o'clock. That's our bedtime. Aw, okay. Hey, Justin, have you seen my sleeping bag? It's right here. I'll roll it out for you. Okay. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Hi, Justin. What you doing? Hi, Squidgy. We're getting ready for bed now. It's almost eight. Hey, where'd my clock go? Sammy was just looking at it. <coughs> Sammy took it. Why? Because he doesn't want us to know what time it is. So we'll never know when it's snack time? Or lunch time. Or story time? We won't even know when it's tomorrow. <gasps> Justin! We need to do something. We need to stop Sammy. We'll do anything. We'll go anywhere, even if it's around the whole wide world. Squidgy, look at all these clocks. Oh. They're all broken. Oh, I'm so hungry, but I can't eat until breakfast time. Excuse me, is it breakfast time yet? We've been waiting for the clock to ring, but it's broken. <gasps> Justin, look out! Ah! Justin, Squidgy! Phew, thanks, Olive. Where are we? And what's going on? We're in Hong Kong, but nobody knows what time it is. Thanks to Samuel Schnoozelnine. Samuel Schnoozelnine? Yep, he breaks every clock he sees. He sounds mean. Maybe we can help, Olive. Then you should become clock keepers. Clock keepers? What's that? Follow me, I'll show you. Wow, what is this place? I'm a clock keeper, and this is my shop, Olive's Clock Repair and Sales. You have so many clocks. Yep, and hourglasses, sundials, watches, wall clocks, grandfather clocks, and cuckoo clocks. Oh, hello. Olive, uh, aren't you going to introduce us? Well, that was rude. Oh, poor birdie. Olive, I think your friend is sick. Is it broken? It's okay. I'll take care of it with this. My clock keeper's key. Ooh! It's a clock keeper's job to make sure that the clocks keep working. Cool. Can we be clock keepers too? You bet. As long as you make the clock keepers promise. Justin, Squidgy. <clears throat> Do you promise to keep every clock ticking? We promise! Then I hereby declare you official clock keepers. Our very own clock keepers' keys? Wow, thanks! You're welcome. And here, you'll need this, too. What is it? The clock keeper's handbook. It shows you all of the timekeeping devices from around the world. Hey, what happened to these ones? 
Those are all the clocks that Schnoozle 9 broke. Whoa, that's a lot of clocks. And that's why we need to stop him. Come on, Clock Keepers, to our secret headquarters. Follow me. At Olive? Oh. What is it, Squidgy? Look! You won, Olive! <laughs> no, Squidgy. It's not X's and O's. It's a map. It shows every clock in Hong Kong that Schnoozle 9 broke. We need to figure out which clock he's going to break next. Hmm. He broke every clock in Hong Kong except for this one. And I've seen this one before in the handbook. It's at the Kowloon train station. If that clock breaks, nobody in the city will know what time it is. That's got to be where Schnoozle Mine is headed next. I think you're right, Justin. The Kowloon train station is across the harbor, so he'll probably be traveling by boat. Are we going on a boat ride too? Yeah, a speedboat. I've got something even better. A submarine! Yep, with this submarine, we can follow Schnoozle 9 across the harbor to the clock tower, and he'll never even see us. All right, clock keepers, it's go time! This submarine's perfect. Schnoozle 9 will never see us coming. I'm setting course for the clock tower. Squizzy, you can be on lookout duty. Aye, aye, Captain. Use his periscope to look above water. Okay. Anything, Squidgy? Mm, nothing yet, Justin. Ah! <laughs> Is everyone okay? Yeah. yeah. We'd better get back underwater before Schnoozle 9 spots us. <gasps> Too late! <laughs> <laughs> He's headed for the clock tower! After him! <laughs> Quick! He's heading up the stairs! We've got to stop him! Now, where'd he go? <laughs> there he is! Samuel Schnoozle 9! We are Clock Keepers Justin, Olive, and Squiddy! You need to Stop breaking clocks. We need to know what time it is. Well, you're too late. <laughs> He's getting away. After him. Wait. We need to fix the clock first. If it doesn't ring at 8 o'clock, nobody will know it's breakfast time. They'll miss breakfast? The most important meal of the day? We can't let that happen. Then follow me. To fix this clock, all three gears need to be turned on at the same time. Everyone have their clock keeper keys? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, on my count. One, two, three, turn! Schnoozle mine. There he is! Come on out, Schnoozle mine. Nobody beats Justin at hide and seek. Okay, okay, you got me. Or maybe not. Our, Our submarine. submarine! Hey, stop! Thanks for the ride! <laughs> Where is he going now? Oh, hey, all of you dropped your book. Huh? That's not mine, Squidgy. Look, that's the Kowloon Station clock tower. These must be Schnoozle 9's plans. Oh, 
Well, this looks like a nice place. What do you think, Justin? March break next year? Wait, I think I saw that one in the clock keeper's handbook. It's called the Samrat Yantra. That's in the city of Jaipur, all the way in India. Is India far away? It is, but we can get there by train. Follow me. Here, we'll ride in this car. Quick, the train's leaving. Now we can track Schnoozleline in my secret mobile clockkeeper's headquarters. Now we'll catch up to Schnoozleline. Come on, clockkeepers, to India! Justin, are we there yet? I'm getting hungry. Me too, Squidgy. Don't worry, it's almost snack time. I brought cookies. <gasps> cookies! No, wait. Not until snack time at 3 o'clock. Okay. Three o'clock. Not allowed to have any cookies, you know. Three o'clock. I can wait. Where are we now, Olive? We're right here, in India. If our hunch is right, then we'll reach the Samra Young Trap before Schnoozle Line and stop him from breaking it. Why do all of these clocks point to that big one, Olive? That's Big Ben in London, England. The most important clock of all. Big Ben. If that clock breaks, Nobody in the whole world will know what time it is. <gasps> we wouldn't get to have cookies? Don't worry, Squidgy. I promise we'll have our cookies and we'll keep Big Ben safe. <laughs> We're here. All right, clock keepers. It's go time! Here we are in Jaipur, India, home of the Samra Yantra. Whoa! That's a very big clock. Actually, it's not a clock. Huh? Then what is it? The Samra Yantra is a giant sundial. It tells the time by using shadows cast by the sun. How does it work? Here, I'll show you. The sun shines on that pointy part, and it casts a shadow on the ground over here. And to find out what time it is, you just count the number of lines that the shadow covers. Okay, so there's one, two, three. So it's three o'clock. <gasps> Cookies! It's almost snack time, Squidgy. The shadow just needs to move a little further. <laughs> ah! Look! Up there! <laughs> Samuel Schnoozle Mine. He's blocking the sun. We won't know what time it is. I won't know when I can have my cookie? No, you won't. Because no more clocks means no more time! <laughs> I promised you a cookie, Squidgy. And a clock keeper always keeps his promise. We'll fix this. Look! There's another balloon we can use. Clock keepers, it's go time! No more clocks, no more time. Just more fun for snooze all nine. <laughs> I wonder where those clock keepers went. Stop right there, Schnoozle Nine! Ah, oh, you again? I want my cookie! Yeah! Squidgy needs his snack time. I don't care about snack time or lunch time or any time. Well, we do, because we're clock keepers.
It's a giant floating pickle! It's called a Zeppelin, the largest aircraft in the world. Wait, there's something else. <gasps> Big Ben! It's time to stop Snooze Online once and for all. But he's so far already. Don't worry, Squidgy. Clock keepers always have a way to get around. An, An elephant? elephant? <laughs> Hop on. To London, England. And hurry. Another day. London's getting ready for bedtime. Uh, I'm ready for bedtime, too. Hmm, I don't see Schnoozle line. He must be out here somewhere. Stay sharp, clock keepers. We need to keep an eye on Big Ben. You betcha. Playtime. It just won't. Why not? Because everyone needs to know what time it is. We need clocks to tell time. Well, I don't. Sure you do. How else do you know when it's time to eat? Or when it's time to play? Or when it's time to sleep? Uh, but I don't want to sleep. Today is the funnest day ever. I got to drive a submarine and a hot air balloon. And a Zeppelin! Knowing what time it is helps you have even more fun. Really? Even at bedtime? Yep. That's how you get rest. 
so you can have more fun tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I guess clocks aren't so bad. Sorry for breaking so many of them. That's okay. We fixed them all. Really? Yep. We're clock keepers. And we fix clocks. That's what we do. And we get to ride all kinds of vehicles. And go all over the world. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Can I be a clock keeper too? Sure. If you can make a promise. Samuel Schnoozelnine, do you promise to keep every clock ticking? I promise. Then we hereby declare you an official clock keeper. Wow, thanks. Justin. Time to go. Bye, Olive. Good night, Schnoozle Nine. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Sweet dreams, Schnoozle Nine. Nighty night, Squidgy. <laughs> I'm going to get my clock back. No more bedtime. Wait, Sammy, don't. But I don't want today to end. Today was fun, but tomorrow's going to be even more fun. Besides, I'm kind of tired. Aren't you? Uh, no. Well, maybe a little. Come on, Sammy. I already set up our sleeping bags. Uh, hey, Justin, wait for me. Today was the best day ever. But what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, we could build a really big fort or climb a tree. And my mom said we can make pancakes for breakfast. <gasps> pancakes are the best. <laughs> Good night, Justin. Good night, Sammy. Mm, pancakes. Up, up and away! Cool balloon, Justin. Can I hold it? Sure. <laughs> hey, Justin, I found your old tennis ball. And I see your desk, your pajamas. Oh, and you forgot to make your bed. <laughs> Come down, Squidgy. Whoa! How do I stop this balloon from going up? I don't know. Just let go and I'll catch you. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, that was fun. Let's do it again. Sure, but it looks like it's stuck up there in the tree. There has to be a way to get it down. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I want it to go for another balloon ride. Yeah, it'd be cool to look at everything from way up high. We could see the whole town from up there. Maybe even the whole world. Hey, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to France. Wow, France. This is amazing. So where are we going, Olive? To Paris. We're going to the opening of the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower? Yes, the tallest building in France. Wow! Let's go. Sure, but first we need to pick up the mayor. He lives near the big church. Steer us towards the city, please, Justin. Sure. Is it hard to fly this balloon, Olive? It's easy. Here, just try pulling on these ropes. That rope makes us go to the left. And this rope makes us go to the right. Like this? You got it. And to go down, you pull both at the same time. Whee! Hey, what are all these bags for? <laughs> and why are they so heavy? Those are full of sand, Squidgy. Without them, the balloon would keep floating up. Huh? Uh-oh, we're heading straight for those birds. We need to go up. Not a problem. One sandbank should do it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tiny cow down there. <laughs> it's not tiny, Squidge. It's just very far away. Moo! <laughs> Pretty bells. That's coming from the big church of Notre Dame. The mayor 
lives right next to it. And there's his house. It's beautiful. Let's take her down. <laughs> What's that? These are gargoyles, Squidgy. They're made of stone. They can't hurt you. Are you sure? Ah! Ah! He's got us! Hang on. See, Squidgy? Our balloon was caught. It's okay. Huh. There he is now. Bonjour, Mayor Maurice. Hello. Bonjour, Olive. Let's bring her down, Justin. Okay. How about right here? <gasps> no, 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 no. Not on my beautiful flowers. Hmm. How about over there, Mr. Mayor? No, 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 no. Look out for the tree. Then I guess we'll have to land here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Red Montano. No, no, no. He says we can't land on his pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. There's not enough room to land. Ooh la la. But I will be late. Hmm. I've got an idea. Uh, Mr. Mayor, go up to your balcony. We'll pick you up there. Bunny day. <laughs> he says that's a good idea, Justin. I'm here. <laughs> Justin, Squidgy, meet Mayor Maurice. Hi, Mayor Maurice. Bonjour, Justin. Bonjour, Squidgy. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. Bonjour. Climb aboard, Mayor Maurice. Zut <coughs> alors. You are too far away. Hang on. <laughs> Bravo. <coughs> now we go, yes? To the Eiffel Tower. Drop a sandbag, Squidgy. Okie dokie. <laughs> I have never seen such a view of Paris. Say, si belle. So beautiful. Oh, it really is beautiful. <gasps> Thank you, Olive. Without your balloon, I could never see my city in such a way. You're welcome, Mayor Maurice. Glad we could help. Hey, there's the Eiffel Tower. Ah, we are here. And there's a spot for us to land. Let's take her down. Gentlemen, I present to you the mayor of Paris. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Olive! How do I stop this balloon from going up? He's floating away! Oh no! Pull the ropes, Mayor Maurice! Huh? Huh? What did you say? He can't hear us! He's too high now! Quick! Let's follow him up the tower. Thank you. Thank you. Now it is time for my speech. But how am I to get down? That's easy peasy. See those two ropes above your head? 
Yes, yes, I see them. Just pull both of them at the same time. Like this? Whoa! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Mayor Maurice is on his way down. Let's go meet him at the bottom. <laughs> again! Let's do it again! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sorry I'm late. <clears throat> I now present to you the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> People of Berry! <laughs> The Eiffel Tower was built by many people working together as a team. And today, my friends Justin, Squeegee, and Olive have shown me that teamwork always gets the job done. Justin! Come on, Squidge. We'd better go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Mayor Maurice. Bye! Au revoir! Goodbye! Goodbye. Au revoir! for dinner, Justin. I'll be right in. I've got an idea. If we stand on this box, we can get closer to the balloon. I can reach it, but I'll float away again. It's okay. I'll hold on to you. All right. <sighs> I gotcha! You did it, Squidgy! No, we did it! Yes! This teamwork thing really works! Mm -hmm. Can I hold the balloon now? <laughs> you know what, Squidgy? Why don't we hold it together? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket on the train set, Dad? Sure, anywhere you like. Hey, that looks good, Justin. Let's make the trains go. Okay, all aboard. Woo woo! <laughs> wow, so many buttons. Can I press one? Hold on, Justin. Don't touch anything unless you know what it does. Oh, hey, that must be the delivery I'm waiting for. Remember, no touching till I get back. Okay, Dad. Huh? <gasps> Must press Linky buttons! We're not supposed to touch anything, Squidgy. But they look so cool! Like the controls of a space rocket! <laughs> Prepare for blast off. Ready for blast off, Squidgy? 30, 30 seconds to blast off. 30 seconds? Wait, where's Olive? I'm right here, guys. <laughs> Where? Right here. Welcome to Cape Canaveral, Commander Justin. Hi, co-pilot Squidgy. <laughs> what are you doing squished into that box? I'm not in the rocket, Squidgy. I'm over here at Mission Control. Look out your window. I'll be right here all through the rescue mission. Rescue mission? Yes. You're going to the moon to rescue Major Chuck. The moon? I've always wanted to go to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Hey, why six, is that guy counting backwards? Five, That's your countdown, Squidgy. Fasten three, your seatbelts and get ready for blast off. One. There sure are a lot of buttons and thingamajigs. 
Can I press one, Olive? Not yet, Justin. Don't touch anything until I tell you. Especially that big red button. Oh. Okay, Olive. How do we find the astronaut, Olive? Major Chuck is near the moon. You should see his rocket quite soon. What happened? He lost all power and can't get back to Earth. Oh, poor Major Chuck. Don't worry, Squidgy. We'll save him. And don't forget, do not touch the big red button. Okay, Olive. We won't touch anything unless you tell us. Especially the big red button. What do you think it does, Squidgy? It glows. <laughs> I know it glows. I mean, when you press it. Oh, no. Mission Control, what's happening? Asteroid approaching. <gasps> Asteroid? Who's that? Not who, Squidgy. What? A big space rock is heading right for you. Asteroid! Ah! It's humongous! Honk the horn! I want you to press the purple button, please. The purple button! Hey! We get to press a button! Did you hear that, Justin? The purple button! The purple button! Where's the purple button? This purple button? Yes, Squidgy! That's it! Press it! Press it! Everything's fine. I'm just kind of hungry. Me too. Where's the fridge on this thing? Let's stop for snacks. Engine's off. Ah, uh, okay. But which button do I press? Press the orange button, Justin. Check. Engines are off. Okay, Olive. Now, how do we get our snacks? Press the yellow button, Justin. Ah, right here. <gasps> Carrots! Oh, and juice! Awesome! Wow! They're floating! In space, everything floats. Squidgy, I can float! <laughs> I can float too! You always float, Squidgy. Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Major Chuck. He says he's very happy to see us. I bet he is. He's been stuck in his rocket and couldn't get back to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you home, little guy. <laughs> okay, we are buckled up and ready to go. <laughs> hey, everyone. Now that the mission's over, we can find out what the big red button does. <laughs> I think I turned off the spaceship. What? Oh, no! Really? What's he saying, Squidgy? Um, he says the same thing happened to him. He pressed the red button and everything turned off. That means we're stuck here? Just like Major Chuck was? Don't worry, 
guys, there is a way to restart the rocket. There is? Phew. But you'll need Major Chuck's help. Put your space helmets on. <laughs> You're going on a spacewalk. Can you hear me, Olive? Loud and clear, Justin. Okay, how do we turn this thing back on? There's a panel near the back. You need to open it. Okay, heading to the panel now. Got it open. Now what? Can you see the two green buttons? Yes, I see them. You and Major Chuck need to push them at the same time. That'll turn everything back on. Okay. Ready, Chuck? <laughs> Countdown. Three, two, one, press! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you did it! Okay, Earth, here we come. Great work, team. Thanks, Olive. Does everyone have their seat belts on? Check. Check. <laughs> it looks like Major Chuck is having some seatbelt problems. Uh, I'll help him, Olive. <laughs> and we're all ready to go, Olive. A <laughs> okay. Let's get you guys home. Roger that. Commander Justin, please push the white button. You bet, Olive. Touch any buttons, Justin? Not any of these. Only on my rocket. Good. And guess what? That was the delivery I was waiting for. Ta-da! It's your first train. That's for me? Wow! <laughs> now we can push some buttons. Yeah! All right. You see that green one? Uh -huh. Give it a push. Pushing green button now. Cool! Look at it go! <laughs> <laughs> 